You've heard the saying, money doesn't grow on trees, and it's probably just as well, because if it did, you'd be digging down to the roots right now for enough money to pay for your lumber. Here to explain to us why and help kind of make sense of all this, this is uh, the president of Spicer Brothers Construction, Brian Spicer. Brian, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for talking to us this afternoon. So what is going on? What's going on with the lumber prices, Brian? Last year, we started to, when the pandemic hit, we started to see a little increase. Yeah. Uh, the year over year, the prices have went up, you know, 300 plus percent. And, you know, over the last year to, you know, year to date, it's about 6%. So, you know, there's tariffs on the uh, imported lumber. The, everyone was thinking that the pandemic was going to depress the construction business right. for a long time, but that wasn't the case. Uh, the 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 business came back booming, you know, after a few months and caught everyone off guard. The suppliers, uh, the factories, there's materials sitting at the borders with high tariffs. So, you know, less material, higher price, and it's it's affecting everyone. All right, so let me make sure that I'm understanding what you're saying, because I'm, I'm not as smart on this as you are. Essentially, when the pandemic started, everybody thought nothing was going to happen. So with nothing happening, there was no point in the mills turning out the lumber and the producers turning out the finished product for you to use on site. So therefore, suddenly there was a shortage. Is that what you're? Yes. And at, and at the beginning of the pandemic, the factories, you know, they actually slowed down and, you know, there was people laid off. So the material in the in the supply chain was, uh, you know, just wasn't there. And then the building industry re renovations and new construction came back with a boom and, and it caught everyone off guard. So uh, when it comes to build, I mean, obviously this is going to affect uh, you as a builder. Are, are there other people that this is affecting this this lumber shortage, I guess? everything that has to, that pertains to wood is going up there's cabinets for the kitchen remodelers the it's it's affecting them uh builders of course it's affecting them we're starting to see a few foundations sitting around where the foundations were sitting i mean were built because those materials hadn't uh the costs hadn't r rose any uh yet but right. Now with the lumber prices, there's foundations sitting around because I guess the builders and the homeowners you just can't afford right now to to build or it doesn't make sense to build at this time to them. So what does this mean for, for a local company like you? Are you going to be able to stick this out until everything catches up again? Yes, we've been able to change the way we've had to change the way we do business. We're fortunate enough to have a warehouse to where we can we try to buy in advance. You know, we get notice uh, as to when the materials are going to increase. So we uh, we stock up on plywood. We have uh, numerous hacks of plywood just to stay uh, ahead of the incur in the increases, and try to you know keep our prices from going up as as often as you know they might have to. Right I, now, I realize it's not going to go back to the way it was. It's going to be different than the way it was. But do you think there's going to come a point where we're at least kind of stabilizing and, and regulating out? I think the material costs are depth from what we're hearing from our suppliers. It's going to get worse before it gets better. So those, you know, thinking they're going to wait it out to to do a renovation, build a deck, build a house, do, an, you know, an addition. It's only going to get worse for a while. So there, to me, in my opinion, there there should be no holding out. Uh, interest rates are helping folks. You know, they're, you know, in the favor of the consumer. So, you know, I think... You know, there's some things in place that we've been able to do uh, with financing and things such as that to try to help out with the uh, the burden, but it's I just don't see it getting any better. Yeah. Well, if you have plans uh, of building something, there's no man better than this man right here. Brian Spicer, president of Spicer Brothers Construction. Thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon and explaining some things that I was trying to figure out myself. All right. All right, Brian, you take care now.